Stuck about me, ain't no rapper in me. Rappers don't come around me, rappers get robbed around me. And had another axe for they chains back. If you a real nigga, how you get your chain snatched? I can't protect no. Mubu Crump, born. Ronald Crump was raised on the east side of Chicago. Ronald comes from Dro City or Snowblock on 64th and South Ellis. Dro City is named after his fallen homie who was killed in the beef with 800 Young Money. Dro City is a collection of a few hoods, Snowblock, 064 Young Money, and Matt Creek. All combined as Dro City in the honor of Dro, a BD, who's loved by all the hoods. Crump was from an era in Chirac where you fought first. Crump was a knockout artist, evident by him knocking out a Young Money member, 064 BD leader, even though they were both Joe City. Inner beef in the area where Crump hung was very common. Crump was a shooter for his gang. He took credit for shooting OTF Varney Paralyzing him, in which he rapped about it in a song, OTFK. Mubu Crump this OTF Varney on multiple occasions. Crump always wanted to rap. He was very outspoken and outgoing enough to get close to D-Thang, OTF Chino, and Dirk. This led to him doing security for Lil Dirk at his video shoots. Everybody shooting shit, ain't nobody hitting shit, nigga. Ain't nobody, nobody dead. Huh? The air nigga swearing that the next nigga tell him, but the I next know. nigga steady getting stuck in the feds. <laughs> Smooth just be two bodies. <laughs> next year we gon' cop two robbers. <laughs> RP Dro Snow Block Free the Cart. <laughs> Fuck your bitch, little nigga, but I'm sorry. Like she did the nigga, yeah, I stole the line from Louis. <laughs> Sack still spent five bands on Louis. <laughs> bitch, fucked for free. Stop acting so bougie. Don't nobody want no more of that Gucci. <laughs> There was eventually a fallout leading to King Louie being shot by OTF Toon and OTF Toon being killed by Mubu. While Crump was in the county on robbery charges, the war hit him close to home as his big homie Kurt Mack was killed due to the war between Mubu and OTF. Crump and Melly, Melly being from 051 Young Money, was also at war with OTF. Crump vowed to get get back when he came home from prison. Crump and Melly got really close on both wanting to get back at OTF. Before Crump went to jail, he gained a following due to his songs with Louie and his personality, making him a favorite amongst DJ academics who dubbed him the scorekeeper in Chirac. Crump came home and really got on that and started dissing deceased members from OTF. Crump stated to Nooski's cousin, But Nooski did. So why you tripping? Look, Nooski told me, bro, he was gonna kill me. So I thought it was funny when he got clapped. And when I do clap you, I'ma put this up. Like, dang, this crazy. Look on some real stuff, dude. You want me to stop disking Nooski, bro? Can me and you be cool if I stop saying F Nooski? Yeah, after we get that one-on-one, -on -one, then yeah.
So after we get that one on one, and I stop saying F Newski, then we gonna be cool, right? You gonna get off my tail? Bro, I'm not gonna be on you no more after the one on one. Just keep my people name out your mouth. All you do is keep OTF in your mouth. Like, damn, bro, chill. And keep that name out your mouth, bro. Crump, but why you gotta hate on another black man, though? Banuski dead, though. What? I'm saying Banuski dead, so why you tripping? But why you gotta hate on another black man? That's all I'm saying, Crump. Crump reputation with beefing was astronomical. He told Loski, This dude is not from Joe City. I don't know him. He might be a young money dummy, but I don't know him. And I'm not responding to that fag. I'm gonna put his goofy self on Worldstar. Keep playing them games, Ronald. Goofy dude. Mentioning me though, you a funny guy. Crump and Lowski further dissed each other. Crump stated, I don't even know you, Goofy. I knocked you out, though, and I knocked out one of your guys. The set you claiming, I helped build that. You don't even know, Dro. You a fan blogger. I knocked out one of your guys and beat the life out of him. Keep mentioning my name, and you gonna be next. You look like Whoopi Goldberg. You a grown man. Talking about your daddy got banned. Boy, you goofed out. You help build what? Dude, you ain't never put in no work. You a goofy. Stop lying. You a Twitter soldier. Keep it real. And Sanjo my blood, goofy. Shaking my head. Loski. What? You look like Whoopi Goldberg. But you ain't even funny, though. And you talk a lot to be the dude that got knocked out for Louie. And he not even gonna ride for you, Goofy. You a clown. Stop. Loski nigga, you a lie. You ain't never related to Joe. Stop it. You don't even know Joe. You a Joe City wannabe. You not official. I never saw you before. But I'ma put you on Warstar since you wanna be famous. Meet me on 64th for South Ellis. If you really from Joe City, that's headquarters. See, I can get the same people's names. But that's fluky. How about you call and challenge me and ask me and don't record me either. And I'll tell you, you need to stop playing. I grew up on them blocks. I went to Fisky and all. Stop tweeting me. I ain't little dirt. I would slide on 64 for Ellis, but I'm out of town. I'm in Baltimore getting some money and stop D-riding Louie. I'm out of town, boy, getting money, dummy. So catch up and make up. You probably did go to Fisky. But you ain't from Joe City, you a fan. You catch three bodies a day on Twitter. Stop capping. This dude Crump do anything for attention, I swear. Sneak this dude, suck off Louie, diss me, but watch all my videos. He need to go get himself a life. He don't want to bang, he just Twitter beef. I'm done with this clown. You can have this Twitter shit. I'm on better things. You are not even official. Right, move around. I have for real dudes who be they self, no matter where they at or who they around, no matter how weird the next person think they are. Drill City. Come to your funeral like we didn't make it. Probably just came to make sure you made it. These niggas Bruce Jenner's, I swear I can't take them. That Glock 17 again, you a face of your new bitch. He basic my old bitch, your agent. She had to spend her, she was in rotation. Um, you're known all over the internet because of this famous blogger by the name of DJ Academics. Um, he had a channel called Warren Chirac, and he used to always feature you on there and call you. Um, what you wanna let the people know? The scorekeeper. The scorekeeper. The we sc still winning too. Everybody know they still up. LLC on recipe, big bro bird. We still up though. So he was call he was calling you the scorekeeper. Now, did that 
get you into rapping? Like when you was locked up, like man, I'm finna go serious with this shit now. What? Yeah, no, nah, money got me into rapping. Like that's what really got me into it. Academics, he like a culture vulture. Like he ain't never, he ain't never did nothing for nobody but himself though. Like he ain't never. He probably ain't even sent a flower to the motherfuckers like mamas and shit who you putting up on this page. You don't respect him? Nah, I don't respect nobody like him. That's why I be laughing when like real niggas like G's or big men, anybody. Whenever a nigga get around them and they can just check them and just make them stand his place, then I respect that because, but I respect him. This is the reason why I do respect him, because he a whole ass nigga and he stay in his lane. Real. Riding with my head of When a nigga check him, he don't get out there and make a nigga slap him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I respect him for that. Cause if he know if he get out there, nigga gonna slap him, he gonna go go to press charges around all that shit. So I respect him for that. But he need for all the shit he did, did for all the money he done made off all the people did. You know what I'm saying? Brothers and, and family and all the stuff he did in the city, he need to go and put some of that money back in there. You feel me? Cause he probably he probably could never come here. Real we just came to kill. My niggas toast still, like G.I. Joe and Jill. I'm like, Bob, let's do a drill. He laugh, I'm like, bro, for real. But don't think this shit a joke. We just cop new Glocks with scopes. Crump's status in Chirac was very well known that he wasn't afraid to diss the ops or the dead. You see his ass ain't responding to me. These dudes be fake for the internet on my dead son. That dude terrified of me and TTB Nas. Keep Bible name out your mouth, boy. Hey, tame your pet before I have to put him to sleep. I know how yo got on them crutches over that chick. F Mubu Nim, smoke coming sooner than later on Fun Them Grave. Keep Bob and Chino name out your mouth, boy. Don't nobody want to smoke dro? That stuff too, too mild. Oh, Miss Pac-Man. Crump and them reported me. Y'all some effing cowards. I don't do this stuff, but this clown Fubu Crump is flirty. And Bobo I trust. I'm the boogeyman of this drill scene. Mention me and I'm destroying dude's career. Oh, gutter. Crump came home mad and ain't put no money on his homie books. You on live with the same dudes, and you broke, and in your crib. You effing Buford and Bobo we trust. Although Crump dissed the deceased, his status as a Chirac knockout artist wasn't disputed. He made a name for himself all through the city that reached millions across the country. Many said, although he dissed the dead, he was a good person, and in heart, he was very family oriented. Crump stated, What I do, I do for my blood, and for my homies. I don't have a lot of money, but I have a lot of heart. I'm gonna be a rapper, I never wanted to be a rapper, but hey, now I see this can't be done. So at this point, I'm on it. God standing in my way, gon' get ran over. I'm not stopping. I just got off the feds, and I ain't going back unless someone tried me. The love for family gives you the courage and the spirit to drive, but it doesn't give you the victory. Many think if I grind for my family, then the victory is mine. In competition, your rival is also driven by family. Both can pray but both can't win. Winner is determined by the skill in which it is held. Ronald was Mumu gang. He gave his life for his peeps. And the streets aren't for everyone. That's why they made the sidewalks. Crump didn't do sidetracks. Crump's biggest haters were the ones that hugged him. Don't fear the enemy who attacks you. Fear the fake friend who hugs you. I know the move of my enemy and I'm appalled of the steps of my friends.
Toronto, Mubu Crump is dissing OTF Nooski's death by telling where he was killed live on Instagram. Them left uh, Chino, I mean Nooski. They left his ass right here. You feel me? They left his ass up here on folks and them tweak. Buy some shoes. Y'all see, y'all see real niggas be up here though. Nigga play with me up here on folks and this bills when bitch on the news. I look like Nooski. Hit his ass up right here on Pat. I'm with the nigga that did. He don't want to be on camera though. Hit his ass up right here on Pat. You hit me? He then went to where OTF Chino was killed on Stony Island. Good spot, y'all. I just got all of my food. Hey, y'all got that order for Nooski? Chino burger. Chino burger. Yeah, y'all got it. Hey, right? Oh, thank you. Up here. What's up? Y'all with that OTFK shit? Oh, man. Hey, this motherfucker focus his hell, man. Y'all, this shit ain't done, man. Y'all done put this shit back to the grill, man. This shit disgusting, man. Get this shit together, man. For real, this shit focus his hell, man. Straight up, man. That shit nasty as hell. Ronald Crump then dissed OTF Lil Varney, who was shot and paralyzed, and now he is in a wheelchair. Crump put him in a wheelchair, as so he claimed. Hey, Varney, you better do this, bro. I'm supposed to put you in that thing. You gotta learn how to use it, bro. You probably beat him up for a fail. Because if you get out, we'll be you back in, kid. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Okay, I'm, I'm one sec. I'm sorry. Just calm the key. Keep the key all the time. Hey. You can't do this, kid. You can't do this, can you, kid? The pig probably don't work pussy. Stand up and piss like a bed, man. You a fuck nigga. That's why you're in that man. But you can't do this, no kid. Wheelchair challenge. And I want all y'all to tag Lil' Bird. This is a wheelchair challenge. I ain't gonna tag you. Tag him in this door. The muscle. I'm the real muscle. See, my dick work. I'm the real muscle. And I stand up and piss like a man. Trump is out ganging with 051 Young Money Melly. Melly is wanted dead by his rival Ops on the south side. Crump and Melly is attending a party in Inglewood on 68th and South Morgan. Melly and Crump are standing outside at the party as it ended. A car pulled up and started firing shots and pulled off. The intended target was Melly. Crump was shot twice in the arm and twice in the torso. Melly was shot five times, including in his arm, and was grazed once in the head. Other records say he was shot three times in the arm. Crump was taken to the University of Chicago where he passed away from his injuries. The bullets rippled through his body and it hit vital organs. Crump passed away at the young age of 32. Melly survived the shooting. Crump family had a private funeral. Family and friends mourn his death the next day. Damn. Another one gone, Mubu Crump. P, you know, they hated you telling the truth about the city, just like the devil didn't like Jesus because he was telling the world about the devil. They want to keep the devil alive, so what do they do? They kill the messenger. P, rest up, big folks Crump.